All right, so there's three good ways to solve this equation. Let's see if you know at least one of these ways. Okay, so the problem is four to the three X minus six power is equal to 64. And we're trying to uh, solve this equation for X. Now feel free to use a calculator, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna solve this equation step by step. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can take to solve this equation. All right, so once again, we have four to the three X minus six power is equal to 64. Let's go ahead and see what X is equal to. The correct answer is X is equal to three. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus. Matter of fact, you appear to be a certified professional expert in basic exponential equations. So that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about an exponential equation. And if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't even know what that is. I don't think I studied this in algebra. Can you teach me? Well, I definitely can. So the first thing that we need to do here is to figure out what type of equation is this? Now in algebra, we have different types of equations. You have uh, linear equations, quadratic equations, rational equations, but this particular type of equation is an exponential equation. That's because the variable X that we're trying to solve for is in the exponent spot of this power. All right, so let's just do a quick review of powers and exponents. So if I have like two to the third power, this three here is the exponent, this two is the base, the entire thing is a power. All right, so two to the third power means take two and multiply it by itself three times. So two times two times two is eight. All right, now I'm gonna show you two simple exponential equations. So here we have two to the X is equal to eight, and then we have uh, two to the X is equal to seven. All right, now how do we solve this first equation? Now, somebody might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you just showed me the answer. I know the answer. Uh, X must be equal to three because two to the third power is eight. And that indeed is correct. So as long as you have a basic understanding of powers and exponents, you can even kind of test some numbers here, right? You'd be like, well, two to the first is two. Well, that's not eight. Uh, two to the second power is four. So that's not eight, but two to the third power is eight. All right, so this is a very easy equation to solve, a very easy exponential equation to solve. But uh, this particular equation, well, this is an entirely different ball game. All right, so two to what power is seven? Well, to solve this type of equation, you need to learn math that's typically taught in second year algebra, courses like Algebra two, College Algebra, or Pre-Calculus. So to solve an exponential equation, it really depends on what type of numbers you are dealing with if you haven't taken more advanced math. So some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, am I going to be able to solve this problem here because I didn't study all this advanced math? Well, actually, I think you can. All right, so let's just kind of look at this problem in this manner. All right, so four to the three X minus six is equal to 64. But uh, maybe if we kind of look at this problem as four to what power is 64. Well, let's just think about powers of four. All right, so four to the first is four. Four to the second power is four times four, that's 16. And four to the third power is 64. All right, so four to the third power is 64. That means that uh, this three X minus six must be equal to three, right? Because four to the third power is 64. So three X minus six must be the same as three. And this is the first way that you can solve this problem. Now we can solve this uh, exponential equation in this manner because we're dealing with nice, lovely, easy numbers. So what we're gonna do here is identify that uh, three X minus six must be equal to three because four to the third power is 64. All right, so we're trying to solve for X. So all we have to do is set three X minus six equal to uh, three and then solve this basic linear equation. All right, so here are the steps to solve this equation here. So three X minus six is equal to three. All we have to do is add six to both sides of the equation, add down in a column manner, we get three X is equal to nine. So to solve for X, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by three. So X is equal to three. 
All right, so we solved this uh, exponential equation using basic algebra and common sense, and we were able to do that because the numbers were pretty easy to work with, right? We figured out that 4 to the third power is indeed 64. All right, so let's take another, uh, a look at another way to solve this problem, kind of using a similar uh, strategy. Now, what we're going to do here is take the base 4 and this number and try to express these numbers uh, with the same base. In other words, we're going to think of these numbers as powers, and our goal is to try to write these uh, numbers in terms of powers with the same base. And we could do that because all of these here are powers of 2. All right, so 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, and 64 is the same thing as 2 to the 6th power, right? So uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This is 8, and this is 8, so 8 times 8 is 64. Okay, so now we can solve this equation because the bases are the same. So in other words, if I had this equation, 2 to the x is equal to 8, I could think of 8 as a power of 2. All right, so 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the third power. Of course, 2 to the third power is 8. So all we have to do, again, is equate the exponent. So x is equal to 3. All right, so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to equate the exponents, but we have to figure out what this uh, situation is. So we have a 2, an inside exponent, and an outside exponent. So this is not that difficult. Uh, all we need is a basic property of uh, powers and exponents. So let me just kind of show you this right now. So if you have 2 to the 5th power squared, this is equal to 2 to the 10th. So the rule is you just take the outside exponent and you multiply it to the inside exponent, or it's simply the product of the exponents. That is how we simplify a power to a power. All right, so that means that we're going to take this 2 here and multiply it by 3x minus 6. Now, because we have a difference here, we'll put this in parentheses. Okay, so 2 times 3x minus 6. Now, again, what we're going to do is equate the exponents. Okay, so 2 times 3x minus 6 must be equal to 6. And again, we're trying to figure out what x is equal to. All right, so 2 times 3x minus 6. So we're going to have 2 times 3x. So we're using the distributor property. So that's 6x. 2 times this 6 is 12. So that's going to be equal to 6. So let's go ahead and solve this equation right here. So all we have to do is add 12 to both sides of the equation. We get 6x is equal to uh, 18. And then now all we have to do to solve for x is divide uh, both sides of the equation by 6. And again, x is equal to 3. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full detailed lesson on every single topic. I also cover thousands of problems with full detailed video solutions. I have a ton of additional worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for tests, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so I just showed you two ways to solve this exponential equation. Now, uh, we were able to use those techniques because the numbers involved are easy. So let's go back to the simple example that I gave you in the beginning of this video. So 2 to the x power is equal to 8. I can solve this simple exponential equation because 8 is a power of 2. So in other words, I can think of uh, this equation as 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the third power because 2 to, 2 to the third power, excuse me, is 8. All right, so the bases are the same. So all we have to do here is equate the exponents. So x is equal to 3. All right, so that was kind of the main idea using these other techniques to solve this equation because both 4 and 64 are powers of 2. But uh, not every single exponential equation is going to be this easy. What about a problem like this? 2 to the x is equal to 7. Well, this is a different type of problem because 7 is not a power of 2. All right, so how do we solve an equation like this? Well, we need to use something called logarithms. All right, so this is going to be our last way to solve this problem. 
But uh, just to be clear, it's not necessary to use logarithms uh, to solve this problem because we have these other techniques. But, uh, you know, most of the exponential equations that you're going to solve in algebra are not going to be this easy. All right, now, if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I never took this in school. Is this going to be too difficult? Well, don't worry. This is not that bad. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to show you the steps to solve this equation. I'm not going to get into everything about logarithms because it's, uh, this is a big topic. But uh, if you were ever curious what these buttons are or these functions on your calculator are, L-O-G and L-N, well, these have to do with logarithms. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this last method. So what we're going to do here is take the logarithm of both sides of the equation. Now, what we have is log 64 on this side and then log 4 to the 3x minus 6 on this side here. All right, now, just to be clear, don't let this confuse you. The log of a number, okay, you can actually type this into your calculator. This is simply just a number. All right, so let's go ahead and take the next step. And that is we're going to use a property of logarithms to drop this exponent down. Okay, now, again, this is something you learn when you study this at a more kind of in-depth manner. But uh, 3x minus 6 is our exponent, and we can drop this down in front of this log 4 because we have a property or a rule of logarithms that, set, that says that we can do this. All right, so we're going to do that now. So we're going to take this 3x minus 6, and we're going to put it right in front of this log 4. Now, again, remember, log 4 is a number, right? You can get that number in your calculator, and so is log 64. So what we have here is really a basic algebraic equation. So forget this log here for a second. So here, just to kind of imagine we have this equation, 3x minus 6 times 4 is equal to 64. All right, so that would be like a basic algebra equation. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, type this stuff into our calculator uh, in a second. All right, so what do we need to do? Well, what I'm going to do, and there's a couple different paths that you can take here. I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by log 4. Now, the reason why I want to do this is I want to get this 3x minus 6 all by itself on the left-hand side. So log 4 divided by log 4, anything divided by itself is just 1. So now we need to figure out what log 64 divided by log 4 is. All right, so once again, this is easy to figure out. Just plug this into your calculator. And log 64 divided by log 4 is 3. All right, so now, you know, the math teacher in me really wants to stop the video and explain logarithms to those of you that don't understand. But this is not that difficult. Okay, so again, if you have your calculator, you can see that log 64. And uh, there are two logarithm buttons, the LOG and the LN button. This is called the common log, so you want to uh, use the LOG button. So log 64 divided by log 4, you'll see you'll get a 3 in your calculator. All right, so now we're down to a basic algebra equation, 3x minus 6 is equal to 3. Again, we're trying to solve for x, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So, uh, you know, pretty straightforward stuff. So all we're going to do is add 6 to both sides of the equation. We're going to get 3x is equal to 9. Then we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. So once again, x is equal to 3. All right, so this is the last way to solve this equation. But remember, it's not necessary to solve this particular equation using logarithms because we can kind of, you know, uh, you know mess around with the bases here, both 4 and 64. Really not the base when they kind of go back to the problem, just to be clear. So when you're um, studying um, exponential equations, you know, what you want to do is uh, really kind of look at the problem and say, hey, do I have to use logarithms to solve this problem? Now, with experience and time, when you study this, you know, you'll be able to use uh, various techniques. As a matter of fact, um, oftentimes as a math teacher or in various math classes, you'll have sections on tests and exams that say no calculator. So solve this equation with no calculator. And that's pretty much a big clue that indeed you're going to be able to do something with these numbers like equate the basis. All right, so hopefully this uh, video helped you out and it was a nice introduction to exponential equations. Now, if you need additional help with exponential equations or algebra, check out these courses. I'm gonna leave links to both of these in the description of this video. 
So my first is my algebra one course. I do not teach logarithms uh, in that course. I teach this in algebra two and my uh, pre-calculus course, but uh, these are both uh, two good courses that will help you out with your algebra. Again, I'll leave links to both of those in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.